They deal with the pork barrel scam head-on. They audit the misuse of public funds, hold politicians accountable, and prosecute the corrupt. Ombudsman Conchita Carpio Morales, Commission on Audit Chairperson Grace Polido Tan, and Social Watch convener Leonor Briones give us a glimpse of the women behind the position of leadership. In a rare opportunity, Ombudsman Morales provides a glimpse into her private life. You all look at me as a tiger in public. I can be as coy as a kitten in the house. <laughs> because I am a Gemini, and you know what a Gemini stands for. Okay. Chair Tan, who is married to lawyer Bayani Tan, says she wanted to retire at age 40 to give more time to her five kids. And my husband said, Will you please really, really think about what you're talking about? Because their husbands at that time were already asking them to stop, to stay home because the kids were growing and then, you know, uh, they needed personal attention. But my husband was very tired. He said, No, you don't need to. You're, you're doing well. I mean, the kids are doing fine. So he is like that, and I think that, uh, that that helps a lot, especially in a job like mine. Professor Briones used to head the National Treasury. She and her husband traced their roots to the People's Movement. In the progressive movement, education, class, let's not take it into consideration at all. And so it was only after our marriage that he discovered that, that what I am. And so my son was asking, what kind of a mama are you? I've never seen you doing any of this thing. <laughs> and I said, I'm a super mama. <laughs> and that settled it. So What's the secret to keeping focused despite intense pressure? I, I think uh, the secret of many women who are fearless, who do things, it's because their men, their husbands, partners, and their children believe in them in the first place, and their macho pride is not affected. As the nation cries out for reforms, these three women are at the forefront of the fight against corruption. They're also at the forefront of breaking the glass ceiling. Angela Kasaway, Rappler.